right. So I'm going to get all the gearing out of this. And first I think empty out the oil that's in there. Seem like there's anything left. Oh, well, might as well pull that off. That gives us some more access into the bottom components. Well, that whole thing comes out, doesn't it? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to remove the oiler first. condition still. Yeah, there's, there's almost nothing in there. It's a little bit dripping out, but that's all right. These parts back in, so nothing gets lost. It's all dented in, but nothing too serious. Things don't get lost. Screws back into the bottom. Some metal chips down in there. Hopefully, it's not too much of an issue with that. Let's see, oh, that boiler. I'm not sure. Okay, I don't think that oil is going to come out easily, but it doesn't look like it's in the way of anything right now. To give you a quick look. Nothing really in the way there, so. come 
up the top that way. Uh, well, I guess I can start trying to get this assembly out then so we can pull this whole gearing train out of the middle. It's a single cotter pin in here, it looks like. Just get under the edges. And we should be able to pinch that open. Hopefully this just comes right out. Whoa. It's not super great, but not too bad. Yeah, it's just reusable condition. Um, let's make sure that doesn't fall through the table. Oh, that is pretty tight on the right. I don't know if I'm correct, this has got a small tab on the end, like that, or a part where the thread's been machined off, and that is holding the shaft in place. So now, everything's correct I should be able to just give this tap from the back and start moving it let's try to get a little more leverage on here pull out an actual punch got two moving components maybe it's only locking in the central shaft uh, I can see it moving in there oh that that is riding in a channel in there that's what makes it so as you turn it forces it to move forward and back so that is not gonna get it out here maybe maybe I have to get this off first See if we've got we've got a single pin there, and it looks like our small ends on top. So uh, let's see. Is this the correct size punch? That'll get us started at least. Measure that pin. Cold screen. At one point one point one one five. Point one eight five. So yeah, the top side is definitely our larger end of the taper pin. Just got to get it moving. Doesn't look like it's been rounded over. It's just in there pretty tight. Hmm. 
see how they, it's everything on here has been painted over the top. Check that one more time. Point one seven two. One five three. That's still definitely small end of the taper. Hmm. I'll give it a few more attempts to loosen it up before I think that it might be worth having something better to hit on the, the shaft. of rounding it over anymore. I'm going to switch to a pointed end punch. something to hammer against that with. I'm <sighs> not sure what else I can get out on the inside there without removing that. So let's check out instead our temper. Our temper our <clears throat> connection here with the half nut. So we've got uh, little hose connection up here. I guess that's supposed to drop down right here. Yeah, there's supposed to be an oil hole right underneath here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, not really a good view. So that's supposed to go down into here. Just drip oil down in for the half nut. Uh, half nut seems to be in decent shape. Looks like yeah, it looks like if we pull this out of the way, we might actually be able to disengage the top half. Yeah. You have those double spiral for the half nut where it engages inside the back there. Oh, but in order to get the other side of the half nut out, we need this. Just a whole rabbit hole mess of parts. And that is our power feed, cross feed, or just power feed in general, our attachment there. See, pull that lever over, and I think that will allow us to remove this pin. And that pin is holding this in place. So now that can rotate fully. And, okay, from there we need to get that handle out. Make sure you uh, can see what's going on. Let's see if that just needs a little bit of a... Uh, with that pin removed, I think we might be able to actually just tap that out. Let me check really quick for any... 
locking screws. No, there's a, supposed to be a set screw on the bottom here, but it's been long gone. Punch. Oh yeah, that's just coming right out. Exactly a easy angle to work on. All right, let's see if it's Ooh, it's nice and tight in there. <laughs> it's uh yeah. It's able to get the arm out. part of it and second part of the arm and there this should hmm, let's latch on somewhere else hmm really quick here and then we'll finish getting it arm out of the way. That's the control lever for the power feed. Let's see what's inside there. There's something latching on holding it in place. So I do have a pin here, but it's only one side. So I think that's more of a locator than it is locking in anything. And it's hollow all the way through since this is the one that actually interfaces with that keyed shaft. I might just have to have that uh, gear underneath removed for this to get it work its way out. So I don't have access to the other end where the other gearing is on. Oh, back to this. Because oh, we can't get this off all the way until we can remove that. So we really need to get this out of the way. Yeah, if I had, if I had a way of getting that off normally, then it would be a lot easier. to move. Hmm. Well, I 
hammer this every which way, both sides. Nothing's budging. I double checked. I tried filing down in case there was a mushroomed out top of that taper pin, and I just can't get this to budge. So probably gonna have to end up drilling out the pin, but uh, that's all I have. I can get done for right now. So thanks for watching.